It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hi guys, welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. Thanks for stopping by on this Saturday. Um, today's video is on the mysterious, unidentified Mayberry actress who's also Don not stand in. In a small town like Mayberry, everybody knows each other's names. No offense, cheers. Uh, from Floyd, B, and Barney, to minors like Leon and Johnny Paul Jason, dozens of familiar faces populated the Andy Griffith Show. This makes it all the more incredible that today, 60 years after it premiered, the sitcom still offers some casting mysteries. Fans all uh, once wondered about the identity of the man in the white fedora. Turns out he was played by Tom Jacobs, brother of Danny Thomas. On the other hand, the actor who portrayed Mr. Schwamp continues to stump Andy Griffith Show fanatics. Uh, you can often spot these Mayberry citizens in the background of crowded scenes and town hall meetings and parades and stuff. Nice dress Nellie is another one of those perplexing figures about town. This stylish woman appears uh, throughout the entire run of the series. She made her debut in the second episode, The Manhunt, in October 1960, and can be seen leaning against the door in the Civic League meeting eight years later in the finale at Mayberry RFD. Nellie is dancing by the saxophone player at the Mayberry Union High School reunion and class reunion. Uh, she's dancing again with a bespeckled man uh, in Fun Girls. She is sitting at the judges' table during the flower contest and only a rose. But fans will most likely remember her from the moment in season one in the episode Andy Saves Barney's Morale. Barney Fife gets a taste of power. Andy has left him in charge, you see. Barney, in turn, has arrested most of the town, including the mayor and Aunt B and Opie. Mayberry citizens pack the jail cells. Andy sets, the free, sets them free and greets them uh, as they exit the cell like a clown car. Our familiar Nellie files past Andy, following Franklin from the ba bank. Uh, hey, Nellie, the sheriff said to her, that's a nice dress. Thus, the legend of Nice Dress Nellie was born. Like Mr. Schwamp, Nice Dress Nellie befuddled fans for decades. The actress went uncredited, unnamed, unknown. However, in 2019, at long last, more clues to the true identity of Nice Dress Nellie arose. We now have some clarity. Bruce Bilson worked as the assistant director on the earliest seasons of The Andy Griffith Show. Andy Griffith Show fan podcast, Two Chairs No Waiting, featured a media interview with Mr. Bilson. That was recorded at the Mayberry Days Festival in 2015. Bilson had loads of insight into the creation of the beloved show, but none as satisfying as his explanation of Nice Dress Nellie. Her name was Marvel. Bilson said of the actress, she stood in for Don Knotts, if you would believe that. Aha, a last name, the mysterious Mrs. Marvel. Alas, no first name was given, but how fascinating is that? She was a stand-in for Barney Fife himself. In a film or television production, the stand-ins do the work too menial or boring for the stars. As the directors and cinematographers and lighters uh, set up the scene, the stand-ins post on the set, taking the place of the main actors. This allows the cameraman to frame the shot, position the characters, tweak the lighting. Uh, meanwhile, the stars can rehearse lines and eat sandwiches in their trailers. Stand-ins are the same size and shape as the characters they represent. In this case, Mrs. Marble proved to be the ideal substitute for Don Knotts. Now keep your eyes peeled for her, and remember, she was the real fill-in for the deputy. Ah, maybe she should have took Don Knotts' place when he left as the new deputy sheriff. Mrs. Marble sounds like a superhero, don't it? Uh... I just, I've done stuff on her before, and I really find her fascinating, just like Mr. Schwamp. Uh, I never, never was a big issue, is mystery with me about uh, Tom Jacobs, because I always uh, knew who he was. When I, whenever I, as soon as I questioned it, I knew what he was, you know. Um, but it's just, you know, you see her in like a lot of episodes. I mean, she's there from beginning to end. Uh, anyway, I got to share something with you. Uh, on my video, uh, I believe it was the one that uh, 
that made Barney, uh, Don Knotts crack up and they had to reshoot it 20 times. Somebody commented and said uh, the thumbnail on it was a picture of uh, Don Knotts and Andy Griffith from the episode from, uh, I don't remember the name of the episode, so it was Jubal Falls or Jubal, 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 where Barney got drunk. And uh, I said, you know, that's not, that's not the, uh, the scene. That's not the episode. Please tr change that right away. I'm like, you know what? You know, if I'd have showed you the scene and the thumbnail, what's the point in even watching the video? You know what I got? Clickbait. You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> One of these days, I swear to you, I'm going to save all these comments and I'm going to do a video just on crazy comments that I get. Most of them are great and are fine and I'm really enjoying it. And, and uh, uh, giraffes are selfish in Hannah's house. You guys are, I'm, I'm digging watching this stuff go between you two. I mean, that, your stuff's hilarious. I'm really enjoying that. But some of the stuff is just uh, trolls wanting to cause trouble. And I'll get a kick out of it. And I just thought I'd share that with you. I thought you'd get a laugh out of it. Uh, anyway, all I got for you guys, um, classic rock, country music, facts of trivia, Beverly Hillbilly's facts of trivia. Be back Monday, all for the weekend. Um, then we got uh, classic TV, facts and trivia is up and going today. And it's on how the reason Dick Van Dyke was never a guest star on the Mary Tyler Moore show. It's pretty interesting. So please check that out and subscribe if you haven't. Uh, if you haven't subscribed here, please do. Please like this video. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. And Faith Entertainment, my other uh, channel. Uh, I'm recommending a faith-based movie today called Breakthrough. Uh, it's a really cool, true story. And you'll want to check that out too as well. If you need the link, hit me up in the uh, comments below and I'll hit you. I'll shoot it right to you. Um, you guys have a great Saturday. God bless you. And I am praying for you.